Uh, thanks very much. I'm Jake, and uh, I'm originally from Iowa. Thank you. For anything, evidently. Um, uh, it's nice to be here tonight. I feel like, you know, coming from Iowa, I have a level-headed attitude about uh, cows in general. I mean, I, I don't know if I believe they should be able to vote or anything, but uh, I first get out here to California, total stranger. I'm walking down the street in my suede coat, total stranger comes up to me. Excuse me, sir. Did you know that a cow was murdered for that jacket? So I said back to her, you know, I didn't know there were any witnesses. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to kill you too. <laughs> and uh, it worked, yeah, she left me alone. So I, I just, you, you know, you learn about animals growing up uh, in the, we used to go hunting also for, not, not never cow hunting. Actually, because, yeah, it's too easy to hunt cows, really, because they don't, they're not suspicious of you. you. Pretty much, you can hunt cows with a hammer uh, if you want, because they don't suspect you. You come right at them. They're just, hi, Jake, what's the hammer for? And then you, you got them. So we, we, that's not really sporting, so we never did that. Or cow tipping. We never did the cow tipping where cows sleep standing up so you can just push them down at night. We never, I don't think it's right. I'm sure it's funny, but I... I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't say, and you have a lot to drink, too, before you go and do that, because you have to get your courage up to push down a sleeping animal, uh, especially the wily cow, because very crafty. Um, so, uh, so we never did that. We would go hunting sometimes out in the wild for the ducks with a shotgun. This is the international shotgun gesture. And uh, we'd hunt the wild ducks, not the park ducks, because... Those are tame. You can hunt them with the pliers. If you, if you, have, you have to do the breadcrumbs just so. And then get their beaks, pull them into the duck sack. Open up a bread twisty. You got a bag of ducks right there. Uh, yeah. And that's... That's, that's live for the terrarium or whatever you, you want to do with them. I don't know if you'd put ducks in a terrarium, really, because their necks get stiff from that. So turtles probably would be... It. You can hunt turtles, actually, if you want, with a power, a power drill. Um, if you have... But, well, you have to go real fast or they spin around. And that, that's, yeah, yeah. Ru ruin your hunting outfit that way. Um, but we used to, we never did take the tools, or, e or even handguns. I don't believe in handguns at all. I mean, I believe that they exist, but I don't think you really need them for hunting. You're not fooling the animals by carrying a concealed weapon. And it's not like you put the shotgun down, the ducks are out there, let's take him. Um, so you don't have to worry. But the NRA, though, every day, they w more handguns we should have. And the armor-piercing bullets, we have to have those because the deer are starting to wear those vests. And uh, yeah, the plastic handguns, of course, you need to follow game onto aircraft. Um, a, lot of, a lot of times that security thing, you'll lose tr the trail. So, uh, so we need that. But I can't really argue, though, with the NRA, that slogan that they have. You know, it's not the guns that kill people. You have to agree with it. It's those darn bullets. That, uh, the guns make them go really fast. But the bullets still do the killing. Um, yeah. well, I'm just saying it'd be hard to imagine a guy robbing a liquor store with just a handful of bullets, you know. <laughs> uh, put the money into the bag, hurry it up, or, uh, or I push these into your brain one at a time. <laughs> you have to be a roughneck guy. Um, and then, I always read these stories, too. Someone will buy a gun and shoot themselves in the foot, which I, I don't get. Evidently, something about having a gun makes you suspect your feet. And then, finally, you just, you can't stand it anymore. You let one of them have it. I, get, no theory. I, I don't know. I don't know how you decide which one. No one ever shoots them both. You never read that. that uh, this, they're both getting away. Bam, bam. You never hear that story. So it's... Just the one, and then evidently you realize you've made an error at that point. Or, you know, maybe you shoot the first one to get some answers out of the other one. I, I don't know what... Um, bam, all right, where's the sock? I don't know what you're... And then, and then now, L.A., with the freeway shootings down here, I guess that hasn't happened in a while, because I guess we realize the folly of that theory that maybe the traffic will move faster if there are some dead drivers. 
I don't, I don't, I don't understand the whole idea. I, I just don't think, if you feel like you need to shoot another motorist, you're way too tense to be driving. That's a good sign you should pull off the freeway and uh, maybe have a snack. Uh, it should be... There should be a little safety rhyme, you know? I'm gonna shoot that guy and let's have some pie. Something like that. I... Because... I I, I, I... I just don't... It's bad gun handling. If you, if you have a gun in the car, you should never have to fire it. You can just show it to people and they're gonna... I need to merge. And people will let you in. That's not fair. They can merge. Thank you.